just being in a community that puts such a strong pressure on being successful and starting a family and status, does that add an extra pressure to your life and feelings of inadequacy? Yeah, it's more intense. Uh, so it just makes everything more intense. So, for example, uh, moving was very traumatic. A few years ago, I, I had to move. And realizing what I could purchase you know, with my financial funds available like was just a very unpleasant experience of reality that really shook me up. It was just a horrible experience uh, psychologically, not, not the logistics of it. The logistics of it was just fine. But psychologically, it you know, just made me realize what a loser I was. Um, then, then on the Jewish Sabbath, there are all these limitations on what you can do. You can't stream. You know, I can't go online. I can't blog. I can't lose myself in Netflix and, and movies. So I have to confront reality. And if it's a Sabbath or a Jewish holiday where I don't have any invites, you know, when nobody wants to make me a part of their home, uh, it it's, can be very lonely. And you're, you're confronting yourself. You're having to look in the mirror and see the situation of your life. Or during the workday week, you can distract yourself from the true reality of your life and you can go online and you can live in a world of fantasy. Oh, because, you know, I can bring 60 people into my stream right now and talk about the dangers of the e-personality. It means, hey, I've got, I've got something to say. But uh, on, on the Sabbath, on Jewish holidays, when I can't stream and, and I'm alone and I can't live in that world of, of my e-personality anymore, now I have to confront reality. Now I have to confront where I'm really at in life. Now I have to understand, you know, how many people want me around. What what is the quality of my bonds with my community and with my friends? And uh, I may go for a walk and I may say Shabbat Shalom to people, and they don't say anything. And that's a really lousy feeling.